If you've been following the recent headlines, you've probably seen a lot of noise about Tylenol and autism. But I want to be clear. While Tylenol or acetaminophen is worth looking at carefully, the debate is completely separate from the research on folinic acid, also known as leucoborin. These are two totally different lanes. Hi, I'm Dr. David Danish, a double board certified psychiatrist specializing in autism and neurodevelopmental care across the lifespan, and I consume research daily so I can dig into these topics as well as anybody out there and without any bias. I've actually made another video where I take a deep dive into the Tylenol and pregnancy research question. That link is in the description of this video, and it's well worth watching if you want a balanced look at the evidence. The truth there is much more gray than many have presented, at least in the media or from the administration. But here's the main point for today. Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Even if you disagree with certain claims the CDC or other groups have made on either side of this topic, whether in the past or recently, the science around high dose folinic acid also called leucovorin, is real, repeatable, and worth listening to. Multiple randomized placebo-controlled trials published in very good journals have shown that folinic acid can significantly improve communication and social interaction in children with autism. These gains are most pronounced in patients who test positive for a folate receptor antibody. These are immune markers that show a block of folate receptors that normally bring folate from the blood into the brain. Now, folinic acid or leucovorin works around that blockade in those patients and the results are astounding and measurable. This is not fringe medicine. I don't believe in fringe medicine. I believe in balanced research-backed medicine. This is well-studied, biologically grounded, and I wanna say it's the most important improvement or gain and autism treatment I've seen in my life as a medical professional. And that goes back to 2007 when I started medical school. If you're exploring leucovorin as a potential treatment for autism, thought to be from this cerebral folate deficiency, I've created a whole treatment program that is across 40 states and growing. I'm trying to get to all the states. It takes time to get licensed there. Please visit Philadelphia Integrative Psychiatry. I'll put that link in the description so you can see if you could become a patient today and I could get you access to the FRAT test to see if that antibody exists in your body, in your system, or your loved one's system. Or in many cases, if they have a diagnosis of autism, we can jump past the FRAT test and just try leucovorin, which tends to be very well tolerated, very safe, and it's a limited amount of time. It's three months duration for that treatment. It's not a forever treatment. If this was helpful at all, please like, please subscribe, because it helps me get the word out there. I'll see you in the next video.